Uh, thank you so much for being with us. We, my pleasure, Amin. With Aria TV Vancouver. And uh, the first question is that, uh, actually, we need to know you more. So please tell us about your background. Introduce yourself to our audience in brief. Thank you. So my name is Niall Green, and um, I'm a, a British historian. I work at uh, UCLA in, 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 in California. And uh, I developed my interest in Middle Eastern history as a, as a teenager. When I was 17, I got on a train from my home city and wound up in Istanbul. And, uh, and from that point on, through my early 20s, I was interested in learning Farsi. I learned Farsi, and I went to Iran and traveled around Iran many times into many different corners of Iran. And that became my passion, really. So, uh, possibly you can have an introduction in Farsi. Bale, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you want? Can I put my questions in Farsi? Fake me, can I make it? Asun tar bashi agar shuma dar Englishi har fizi, vali mersi teshkar. Great. So, uh, I, I actually I, I I read some information about your activities and your book that. Uh, the books that you have already wrote on on the history of Middle Eastern countries and Africa, mm -hmm. I believe. So can you please just give us a background about them? Yeah, I, I worked for a long time on the history of, of Tasavvuf, of, of Sufism, and uh, particularly of, of Persian Sufism. I spent many years uh, traveling in not only Iran, but also in Pakistan, in, in India, in, in Afghanistan, in much of the Middle East. And I was really in many ways following the, the history of the, the Hanukkahs and the, and the, the orders, the tariqahs of the, of the Sufis. And so I, I read a number of books, you know, kind of based upon this and, and really trying to look not just at the, at the, the books and the, the poetry of the Sufis, but also about the spaces and the architecture the material culture, one might say, and of course the music, the entire cultural history of, of that side of, of Sufi Islam, or indeed of Irfan, as one would say, in, in Iran. And uh, about this uh, speech and uh, how this idea came to you, uh, having such a lecture here in, U in UBC, with this subject matter, and uh, tell us about this event. Yeah, well, I wrote a book a couple of years ago called The, the Love of Strangers, what six Muslim students learned in Jane Austen's London. And that was the story of the, the first group ever of, of Muslim or Middle Eastern students to come to study in the West. Uh, and that happened in, in 1812, it began, with, uh, with uh, Haji Baba Afshar and Mirza Saleh Shirazi and their companions. And um, as many Iranians will know, Mirza Saleh left um, his Safanameh, his, his diary, and that for me, when I'd studied in London as well, and when I learned that 200 years before my own studies, that a group of Iranian young men as I was studied in the same city as I did, I thought I had to learn about this. So I spent about 10 years, in fact, trying to reconstruct from Mrs. Ali's diary, but also the letters of the people he met, the friends he made in England, their diaries. You're interviewing me now, but actually 200 years ago, it was English journalists uh, interviewing Mirza Saleh, Mirza Jafar, and Mirza Haji Baba. So, um, so I used all of this, you know, this information I could find to reconstruct that story of, in many ways, the, the first deep modern encounter of Iranians with, with European culture in, in such a deep way that, as you'll see from my lecture, that they absorbed European languages, European literature, and the arts. All of them had portraits made of them and even sculpture. Um, but they also were real pioneers in taking back the uh, ulumi jadid, the new sciences from the Industrial Revolution, and taking those back to Iran. And of course, as many of your viewers will know, Mirza Saleh Shirazi founded the first ever newspaper in Iranian history in 1837, uh, having taken the printing press back with him from London. Great. Rastish, man, I want to ask you to ask خیلی خلاصه مطلبی که گفتین به فارسی هم بگید تا جایی که میشه خیلی جالب میشه برای بیننده های ما لطف میکنید در مورد کتابتون و در مورد این اسپیچ خلاصش رو اگر به فارسی بتونید خیلی خلاصه بگید من پس من این کتاب را نوشتم در مورد تاریخ اولین دانشجوهای ایرانی که رفتن به اروپا رفتن در اولین سالهای دوره قاجار رفتن از از دست و از درگاه عباس میرزا درباره عباس میرزا در تبریز رفتن از اونجا تا لندن و از لندن تا کمبریج دانشگاه کمبریج و آکسفورد و میز ساله خودش یک صفحه نوشت و در این صفحه 
بسیار اطلاعات اطلاعات هست در مورد چیز ادونچوریشون چی کار میکردند هر روز و هر شب همچنان در تماشا خانه گفتند یعنی تیاتری لندن و همچنان در در دانشگاه و و در چیز کارخونه لندن همچنان و برای من این تاریخ خیلی خیلی جالب و همچنان خیلی مهم هست برای ایران و برای تاریخ انگلستان همچنان Thank you for for doing this in Farsi So you are a historian That's right And I believe you are a lover of history Absolutely I can see in your face So how you relate what happened in the history and in the past to the what's going on here in the nowadays world, in the yeah. today's world, yeah. in what is, let's say, important to mention yeah, right I now. This is in many ways why I decided to write this book, because the theme of the book, really, the, is the love of strangers. It's not a story of xenophobia, it's a story of xenophilia, the love of strangers. And that, in that time, Mr. Saleh, in that period, in many of his, his, all of his companions, his five companions, they were made many close friendships with people in Britain, and indeed many people in Britain were close friends of them. One of the, the, the students, uh, Ustad Muhammad Ali, took back an English wife to Iran with him. So these are deeply close relationships. And I think creating a history, an alternative history of Iran, indeed the Middle East and Europe, of Muslims and Europeans, that's based around friendship, around the exchange of ideas, about mutual respect, I think is now more important in our times than, than ever before. And uh, one question about Iran. Uh, what was very interesting for you? What did you find specific in Iran? And possibly sometimes, from time to time, you can remember or think about that. First of all, I found the hospitality and, and, and the friendliness of the people. I mean, this was a, a, extraordinary. The Mehman Dosti, uh, it was just extraordinary. I traveled around so many places in Iran. I traveled with the Bakhtiari nomads in the, the, in the mountains in the west. I'd, I'd traveled with the, the Zoroastrian peoples around the villages around Yazd. I was welcomed in Qom even, and indeed in Mashhad. Um, and to me, it was the, the, the richness, I think, of Iranian culture, the, 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 the kindness of the people, um, and also the beauty of the, the landscape. Um, and the architecture too. I mean, there's so many extraordinary buildings in, in Iran, many of them not known. Of course, the architecture of Isfahan is well known, of Isfahan Nesvi Jahan, this is so famous. But so many other important buildings at um, even uh, smaller places, in places like Taft, in the middle of you know, the, the, the desert, in the middle of the desert outside Yazd, and uh, so many of these other smaller places, Abiyone in the mountains, and I found so much of Iranian architecture, cultural life, and of course cuisine, you know, kind of really enriching my own life. Uh, anything you want to add, it would be great. Uh, no, well, I think that's it. I really kind of hope that you all, uh, your viewers enjoyed the lecture this evening, and, uh, and yeah, thank you for, for listening. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>